imagine Bruce Wayne was your good friend, right? And he got you all together tonight. He's like, hey guys, you're not gonna see me anymore. I've decided to commit the rest of my life to tearing down the corrupt justice system that created my parents' killer. That's right, mind, body, soul, every waking moment we spent training myself to become a one-man wrecking army. I'm gonna become a symbol for change. I'm gonna stand up for justice. You guys be like, wow, Bruce, that's amazing. Until he was like, also, I'm a bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what did you just say? He's like, yeah, I'm a bat the whole time. I look like a bat. I have weapons that are bats. And my car is a bat. <laughs> we're like, no, Bruce, you're being weird. Just, just do the first part. He's like, no, everything's a bat or I'm not doing it. <laughs> Uh, bats are not particularly like driven by justice. Uh, <laughs> and there's other animals that come out at night. Like, hey, look, Bruce, if you just want to be a nocturnal, I mean, <laughs> raccoons. The traditional canon is that he had no association with bats whatsoever. He's very upset. He's a 20 year old man now. He's in his mansion drinking by a window or something. It's raining outside. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. And then a bat flies through the window. He's like, yes, I will become a bat. Can you imagine if he just saw a goose fly overhead? <laughs> I also kind of like the idea that, that this bat flies in and he's drunk and he's like, you're my best friend, bat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to fight back. We're going to fight back. No matter what he sees at that moment, he would have done that if the pizza delivery guy comes and he's like, that's it. <laughs> what happened to your face, man? It looks like you got pepperoni burns all over it. I got attacked by a pizza guy. 